The latest excerpt from the so-called Anglo tapes has been released by the Irish Independent newspaper. It's a conversation between the chief executive of Anglo-Irish Bank, David Drum, and another senior banker, John Bow, ahead of a meeting with the central bank the following day. As Anglo slipped closer to the abyss in September 2008, its bankers became increasingly desperate. Every 24 hours, a billion and a half euro was flowing from the bank. With a week of cash left, CEO David Drum rang Head of Treasury John Bow to discuss an upcoming meeting with the central bank. The other one is, can I have the loan please? Yeah, but that, to me that's the first order and then I'd be saying, okay, thanks so much, can we leave now? And I'd want them to say, no, no, clear, we've got something else for you to do. Yeah. You know? No, well, we're ready to talk about the loans. What, what, what do we need to think about? We need to put a loan because we're running out of money. We gave you the term sheet. Can we have the money? Yeah, okay. <laughs> do you know, keep it simple. Yeah, I know. I don't know how simple it's going to be, though. It'll be, it'll be stupid simple because that's where I'm going to take it. Well, it works so far because if we stay in their language, nothing happens. Yeah. Get into the fucking simple speak. We need the moolah, you have it, so you're going to get to us, and when would that be? We'll start there. Yeah. The tapes revealed by the Irish Independent show how Anglo wanted to give the central bank collateral and get a loan in return. However, in the absence of a full banking inquiry, the recordings are the closest thing to showing what was really going on in the bank.